So uh, we work in County Durham in a, quite a large trust which has two acute sites and two smaller non-acute sites. So we have clinics um, at all sites and various different times of the day. Uh, Vicky works up in the north and I work in the south of the trust. Um, so we see um, IBD patients on a daily basis um, and deal with the problems that they're having or the maintenance of their inflammatory bowel disease. Yeah, we have telephone clinics mixed, varied between face-to-face, -face, dedicated telephone clinics for the more non-complex and we've got carved out flare slots as well for people who need to come in quickly. Um, our consultant, uh, Anjan Da, um, was um, contacted or liaised with NHS Digital and he brought this to us that this could be a, a pilot sort of project for advancement of our biologic patients so that we could have very strict monitoring and look at the effectiveness of the high cost, high risk medicines. So this was brought to us um, originally 2022, um, but unfortunately didn't get up and running until 2023 due to uh, practicalities of procurement, finances, and a full understanding of what the actual project entailed. It was really, really easy going. We did envisage it was going to be a lot more time consuming, a lot more to it, but the training's really straightforward. It's been very concise, troubleshooting. Actually, it looked more arduous than it was. Mm -hmm. So if you were just to look at the actual project and oh, you've got to have this, you've got to have that, in practical terms, when you're doing it, it becomes so swift and so second nature that you're talking to a patient and you're actually registering them on the system and on the portal and what I like from it as well is the fact that you have their email and you've verified it with them um, and their mobile phone and it's a case of I will or I could email you straight off this email um, about your compliance and about undertaking a test or the result so the patient is actually offering their full information and it's there, it's straight up to date at that point, you know it's been verified. Yeah, and the part I like from that is when they don't put a test in, it comes up as overdue, you can then send them an email straight from it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, some patients have kind of been, oh, I forgot. So it's like, yeah, it's great that we have emailed them and just said, this is just a gentle reminder. Um, and then as the time progressed, then next time I was like, right, please, can you do it in the next two weeks? And then I was like, right, you need to do it in the next week, please, or it will expire. So, you know, it, the communication is so simple because it's a click and then it's onto their email that they gave you. So there's no worrying, is this the right address um, that I've got from taking it down? Because now I say to them in clinic, just check that again. And that's on the system. You've given me it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, um, I send the a link to the patients on email. Um, and this worked really well last week. Patient rang up our flare advice line, left a message on Wednesday night. I rang her back first thing Thursday morning. Um, I think I'm having a flare, I'm not well, blah, blah, blah. Um, I said, right, what kind of phone have you got? Which people, now that's my one of my standard questions and they're kind of like, really, what, what kind of phone do I have? And I'm like, you can do a home test. We can have the results within hours. Um, so she came in, she had her bloods done, I registered her, she told me what phone she had, registered her, got her onto the system and basically within 12, uh, within 24 hours of me talking to her and arranging that, we looked at things, we looked at her bloods, we looked at her stool test and the decision was made, the treatment plan was formed and it all went through very quickly and she said, I mean, she hadn't been in contact with us for probably about 18 months because she was very stable. And she said, this is great because it's happened so quickly. I couldn't even have got a GP appointment in that time. Yet you've been able to do this, this, this. And I'm settled. And I said, I wanted you settled before the weekend so that we knew that there was a plan in place. 
So it was great. Initially, we'd envisaged that it would be rather a high risk biologics, um, but as times went on, uh, we've found that it works really well for the flare type patients. Yeah. We're going yeah. to move it down to thiopurins, but actually it's now pretty much open to everybody. Yeah, It's so useful that it just works so much better, so much more rapid, and there's no second guessing. Yeah, You, you know that result, you know what it is. So, yeah. And, and patients are embracing the fact that they get the result first. And I try and yeah. emphasize that to them. And I'm like, you actually get the result before I get the result because it's there on your phone, in your app. So you can see that. And they, they like that. They feel empowered to look after their disease um, and to kind of go, oh, that's me. Yeah, and then and then interpret the result because we've got the traffic light system yeah, which tells we've, them. We've got the guidelines and to be fair, we've used those boundaries um, that we originally agreed and the parameters. We, I do say to patients, and, and it's education as well, I say these are quite tight parameters, but that's for your good and it's for good tight maintenance of your disease. And therefore, this is what we want to achieve. And that then gives them a goal that if they are amber, it's like, mm, perhaps I'm not quite there, but, you know, working towards. Um, we, we arranged them um, that we felt originally um, for the biologic patients. So we do change them slightly. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say it is. I think initially when you're doing it and you're not familiar, it may take an additional bit more time. But then after that, because it just becomes second nature, no, I can't say that it takes. And I think, you know, personally, I talk through the whole test to the patient mm -hmm. and I have it on my phone because I actually did a test and I say to them, I've done one. I can't sort of express how easy it is because it is it's so quick and so informative that it's there and done. So I think they feel happy that we've actually gone through it with them in clinic because yeah. the more you do it, it becomes so much quicker. People find it fascinating that they've got an actual two poo catchers. That's like, the, yeah, that's <laughs> the part I find that most people yeah, do like. It's little things like that, which people go, oh, I don't need to use my, my takeaway box or I don't need to use half a roll of I'm tissue. Paper. Yeah. So it's, it's, everybody has, you know, it's, it's a test that nobody wants to undertake, but trying to make it um, as smooth and comfortable for them and facilitate the need. No, we can, no. generally about five minutes, I would say, by the time we've sat, set it up and run through it. Yeah. But you can do it as part of your clinic. You can be sitting chatting away and yeah. have it done. I can't say that it, it now it takes us any longer than yeah. five minutes. I, I must admit that I come in and I log in straight away because we have them in a chronological order that they were given out. That is quite good. You can do it alphabetical, so you can see if you want to search somebody and there is a search bar, but to look at it in chronological order and then I go down and go, who hasn't done one? Target them, target them. And then you find that actually the ones at the top come in quite quickly because they, they're quite keen to get them. So it, it's, it's, I always have it open on my PC um, and I kind of get a little bit obsessed with like looking for the, the green, hopefully. I think it, it gives us the answers to the, um, the disease remission quicker yeah. and we can then, you know, look at the, all the parameters of the a patient's maintenance or look at if they're having a flare and deal with it. And I think it, it all goes towards a quicker, efficient service. I mean, some patients would be like, I, I didn't even know this existed. And I said, well, we knew it existed mm -hmm. years ago from coming to conference. And it was always something that you wanted to initiate mm -hmm. for the patients. Um, but we always 
were perhaps led to believe it was out of reach. Um, and to have this now, I wouldn't want it. I would struggle going back. Back, yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when we have patients who are not suitable for it, and that's perhaps your more elderly who don't have a smartphone, yeah. or you only speak to them maybe once a year or every 18 months, or PIFU, uh, patient initiated follow-up, they're perhaps the ones that are not suitable. So you, you send out the old style pot and form, and that's kind of a bit arduous. <laughs> because it's kind of like oh and now we're on I've got one patient who's had four tests and that is the simple part now because we don't have to register them and just, just give out another give test. them the test mm -hmm. um so it's kind of like there you go there's your next one and nothing to do because you know that it's all been done very positive yeah very positive they like having that readily available to them. They know they're getting quicker results. They're not taking up to two weeks. They haven't had a kit gone missing. It's in their hands. They haven't had one that's been lost on the way and they get their results. So they get their results first. So they've got a lot more ownership over their healthcare than what they've ever had before. When, when patients come to clinic and the test result isn't back or it's leaked in transit, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of looking at all these results prior to someone coming to clinic. And then if they say, oh, I did a test two weeks ago, and then you look and it says, I'm sorry, it leaked. And they were like, it couldn't It's have. just disheartening, isn't it? And then it's yeah. like, I can't say anything because that's what the lab have said and I can't dispute it. We, we enroll as much as we can. Um, all age groups, um, anybody who's willing to undertake it. We explain that it's an app on their phone. They may use it every three months. They may use it twice a year or have it there for a flare. And they're willing to do that. They don't find that that's um, onerous having it in an app. And I always explain, I have a yoga app on my mm -hmm. phone and I don't use that. So, you know, if you use this app twice a year, then that's beneficial for you to keep that record. This is your record of your health in your phone and it belongs to you. Yeah, and it gives them reassurance knowing that everything's okay now, but should anything change, they can quickly do that test and quickly get a result back to yeah. us. The young, um, we're, we, I do transition appointments with our paediatric colleagues and our paediatric nurse is very jealous in mm -hmm. the fact that she sees this as something quite innovative for her adolescent patients that they could then take ownership of. And at that age, a lot of it is the transition from parents having the ownership to the patients then becoming the ownership of it. They, they're very well trained in the fact that they go to clinic with a poo pot and they always submit a test, but they don't necessarily get that result until the letter comes or even at their next infusion. So this way, um, the young people can have it there on their phones. So we have had patients as well who didn't have the right compatible mobile um, and actually said, don't worry, I'll go home. There'll be one. I'll mm -hmm. dig it out and I'll use it. I've got somebody who uses her I'll daughter's phone. Yeah, yeah, we've had a few. I've got that. And I've also got somebody who's got one on their um, son's phone. So that hasn't been an obstacle. They're quite happy that the information is there, but they, they don't have any problems with the confidentiality. Of it. Go for it, um, get it started. It makes things a lot easier. I find it more accurate um, and the patients, they love it. Mm -hmm. It's a much more positive outcome for a patient having a quick test that they have ownership over. Yeah. Nothing, and nothing but positive. And it, it makes us smile because we're quite happy with it really, mm -hmm. aren't we? We want it to continue. Um, so for the foreseeable future, this is how we'd like to progress. Mm -hmm.